Hey what's up guys Dude Tech here welcome back with a brand new video in this video I have another beautiful and a new tweaks for you guys which is going to be compatible with a new iOS 10 jailbreak device I hope you guys enjoy today's video with that being said let's get it started priority hub so when you download the tweak it will give you that nice icon on your lock screen for any kind of notifications so if you receive a notification from your messenger a call your from your youtube from anywhere once you receive your notification it will be pop up as an icon here and then the message will be underneath going to the tweak settings here so as you guys can see you can go to lock screen here and then you can customize some stuff before you customize some stuff you need to enable the button here and then you can send some test notification here if you want to check the set of the icon on your lock screen here the icon so so you can check on the top or you can check on the bottom where you want to set your icon notification and then the icon size which is going to be giving you more than size so you can pick the small the medium large and the full size settings here you can go through so for example if you want to enable the pull to clear or the privacy mode or other stuff as you guys can see here going back you have another section which is going to be the your notification center here if you tap on it you need to enable the bond here and then you can go just like the other section you can go through a lot of details here and then you can customize the way when you receive your notification on your lock screen priority hub Another cool tweak that I have for you guys in today's video, which is going to be the 3D switcher. So when you download the tweak, it will give you when you want to switch, uh, when you want to use your switcher page here, this is how it looks like right now. So you can switch in between all those pages here. And then as you guys can see, the, that flip for the uh, under icon right there, it's really giving your eye device beautiful looking when you want to switch. So going to the tweak settings here, the first thing that you need to do to enable the bond here and then you can choose the mode that you want to set on your switcher. So you have more than mode here, you can pick that up from here. The other cool thing is that if you want to enable the icons, you can enable the scale icon here and then the roll icons as you guys can see when I tap on the switcher, you guys can see the, the bottom icons can be rolling or flipping underneath the switcher. 3d switcher grubby so when you download the tweak as you guys can see you can add some icons you can use those icons from your lock screen so this is the tweak right here and it'll show you how you can download the tweak from here and showing you what is that tweak do here for your lock screen going to the tweak settings here and as you guys can see here you can change the icon visibility from here from the top so if you tap on it you can use or choose the always or to require to top on your lock screen this is what i mean and then the other thing is the icon content here so you can pick from one till seven icons you can set those on your lock screen so you can choose the the number that you want the action here for the camera so it's gonna be as far as you're going to be pick five it will be giving you five options here so you can enable those and then if you want to change the action for the camera for example just tap on the camera it will give you more options here to build on this tweak right there so if i want to get back here for example i want to change as well the image of the icon you can switch that as you guys can see here it will give you a lot of stuff you can pick one of those here to set it on your lock screen the other thing is if you want to set a required passcode before you run that application from your lock screen you can just turn that on from here and then as you guys can see here right now this is the way for the icon show up on your lock screen using this tweak so if you want to open it simply just tap on it and then you can just work on it right away from your lock screen grubby Swip home so if you want to download this tweak here it will be giving you that nice to close all your pages once you open your switcher so the first thing let me just talking with you guys here about the settings so the first thing you want to enable the wrist spring so once you set everything you have to just keep on the bond here on enable to just enable the wrist spring 
and then here you can choose the way of your set so you can tap on the left the right or the top on the bottom to close to disable all the app that is running on your screen so pretty much when you when you finish all the set on your iDevice if you go to your screen here I'm gonna be go to the home screen here and then if I want to swipe on it so basically it's gonna be giving me that message here say restart quit all the apps or cancel so if I want to cancel all the apps and quit all the apps that is running on my device simply just click on quit and then as you guys can see right now is nothing on behind just my home screen and that the way is how simple it is to close all the running apps swipe home I know sleep when you download the tweak always when you leave your smartphone away a little bit on a sleep mode your Wi-Fi will be disconnected by itself so that when you download this tweak here when you enable the button here on top your Wi-Fi will be not disconnect from your iDevice anymore always is going to be working with this tweak here this is the only way to enable that tweak here it has nothing to configure anymore that way it's going to be really useful to keep your Wi-Fi and then you have your full signal on your phone even if you leave it for a long time on the sleep mode I know sleep I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you like the video please just like always give it a big thumbs up subscribe for my channel for more videos I see you guys in the next video this is do tech thanks for watching